early on, I would say that Matthew was an anxious child. Like he, he worried about everything. It was a it was a concern of ours. So we spoke to teachers and we spoke to family doctor and everybody just sort of said to not to worry. We were just worried parents. And and then when he went off to to college, he wasn't looking well and, and he didn't seem happy. And as a parent you can tell when your child is well and when they're when they're sick. And then we made the decision that we would try to bring him home. That was a really hard time when when Matthew came home and he didn't get out of bed and he hardly ate. I had all the time pushing people away, I didn't want to go outside. And I had buddies who would try to get me to go out and do things, I just wouldn't, I just was like, I had no desire to do anything in life. It was just like, I was like, this is it, I'm just, I'm done with it. That's kind of how I felt. I don't think he really saw that anything was ever going to get better. And so I think he really thought, what's the point of just suffering all the time. And so we didn't know what to do, really. We were just at a loss. And then uh, a friend of mine who suffered with um, some mental illness himself, he suggested to go to QCH and talk to somebody there. Our family kind of has the attitude of something's not right, let's try to you know, fix it. Getting involved and trying to make something better for somebody else uh, is important to us. If there's something that we could do to help another family to understand that they're not alone and they can get the help at a hospital, then we need to do that. I think it's natural to just make sure that your family you know, gets everything out of life that they should get. And you want that for everybody. Matt's doing great. You know, uh, he's, you know, kind of working himself through his issues, you know, rebuilding himself. Um, he's with us and we're happy to spend time with him. I, I didn't know how to express my emotions ever, so I never really did. It took me a while, a lot, it took me a long time to tell anybody how I was feeling. And you're not ready for what's about there and you get really depressed, but you have to know that you're not alone. Like there's a million people like me who feel who feel depressed all the time and, and like who feel lost and who don't feel understood, but, but we do understand you. It's just I understand that the majority of people aren't gonna understand what's going on, but there's always somebody who can talk to you and there's always somebody who can understand what's going on. My hope for QCH is that people that are struggling with mental illness will walk through those doors and feel like they have arrived at the right place, that this is a safe place it's a positive place and a happy place and a place full of hope. I know what we need to do and it starts with hope. I hope you'll join me.